Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be an Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and as well Aquarius Rising. A weekly tarot reading October 28th to November 3rd, a 2019. And just bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, here to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump right into it. So the first card which stands for the topic of Aquarius week is going to be uh, the uh, Hierophant card, followed by the second one which stands for the challenges that Aquarius needs to overcome throughout the week. We do have uh, the Knight of Swords. <clears throat> then we have the positive aspect of the week which stands for the King of Wands. And the last card here that represents the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you guys, that is to be the Two of Pentacles. Hmm. So quite of a um, kind of funicky, I would say, um, week uh, it is that you have in front of you. So uh, the first one, which stands for the topic as Hierophant, is going to be catalyzed by the Knight of Cups. <coughs> So pretty much the weak points that the EODs you are going to achieve, either career-wise or either um, relationship-wise, are going to be just as much as efforts you are going to place in. So no efforts, no EODs. Great efforts, great EODs. All right, so there will be that reciprocity i don't know if i'm pronouncing the word the, the word right into what you put in what you invest emotionally materially if you if you will time investment um, efforts investments as well with the benefits that comes out of it now important thing here is to understand as well uh, with these two cards and also the circumstances that you are to face throughout the week are going to make it clear that one cannot escape their fate but you need to take this one with a grain of salt why it is because it looks like that this week you are going to be pulled towards certain wishes and and yearnings that are kind of like dwelling within you and <coughs> excuse me and the hierophant itself here with the knights of uh, cups represents the necessary steps you are to take in order to get one hand uh, or one step closer if not traversing the whole distance distance toward those uh, those yearning of, of yours either love you know lucrivity success into business and etc etc recognizing that there is only one way how you can do the things right and there there cannot be any uh, cutting off corners with it whatsoever it may be that as well you are to face certain dilemmas um, of, of a um, of regards of what you have to do from now on and if that's the case it looks like that this week itself as you are you're going to have the chance and the opportunity to cancel yourself 
with a, a quite of an experienced person into that field, which is going to pretty much divulge you the reasons and as well how you can actually become successful into your goal, all right? So the, the problems you may face that baffles you reside in the framework of already existing a convictions, but it's just someone needs to divulge you that. <clears throat> so what is to be the challenge? Well, the challenge here, it is this person, the Knight of Swords, and it is accompanied with uh, the uh, Emperor card. So we do have an, an active uh, friend here into this position. And as we said with the previous two cards, it is that you are going to realize that your, um, or acknowledge that is, it is that your wish or whatever direction your yearnings are pulling you toward, there are strict steps that needs to be taken on. Well, that is someone who pushes or who pulls exactly in the opposite direction that you are trying to go into. So here we are talking about a certain separation, but uh, that separation, it is not in between you and someone there to your heart. That separation is to be in between you and someone who is trying to exert a, a bigger control in your life or in your situation. So it's a person who tries to pull the strings on. And um, to me, at least the way it looks like here, it's uh, it's a, a situation where you are going to uh, kind of like acknowledge that your steps are not his steps. And uh, the whole challenge is to be to face, to confront this person of the Knights of Swords and simply say to them that it is time for you to a part ways. Now, why this is going to be a challenge? Because it looks like that you have ended up into quite of a dependency or seemingly quite of a dependency with this person, Knight of Swords. And uh, one of the challenges is to wake up and understand that these dependencies as not, uh, are not as powerful as this Knight of Swords makes them to look like. Uh, this person, Knight of Swords, usually a very courageous and very pushy, bruising type of person who has a sharp and intellectual mind that it is uh, very clever, all right? And through his cleverness, it is how he were able to put you into their nets. And from there, we go to the positive aspect <clears throat> of the week, which is the King of Wands, uh, catalyzed here with the uh, Five of Wands. And that is another person. That is another person who pretty much confronts you with, dude, what, what the hell are you doing, right? I mean, are, are you following your own ambition or you are pretty much following someone by his tail, right? Like a puppy. So pretty much what the knight, what the king of wands here plays, uh, what kind of a role that, that person plays uh, in your life, it is that they're going to encourage you to follow your own, your own dream, your own goal, no matter what, how much it's going to cost you, that there is always a salvation. As a, matter of, as a matter of fact, the salvation is lurking behind every, every corner. And no matter how difficult that's, separation in between you and the person who holds you in their fist uh, is going to be difficult. There can be always pleasant surprises and sudden around turns um, into your life that are going to help you to sustain yourself. Simply, <clears throat> this King of Wands serves as a, an, an example to you and it could be the one that you are to cancel yourself with should you face difficulties to make that separation. Um, you know, the one that is going to counsel yourself how to do that, how to transform your ambition or your uh, yearnings into a um, very powerful drive, a drive that it is very unlikely that someone or something is capable to stop you along the way. And that drive is uh, with these two cards as well. It is shown here that is going to differ from the drive of the people that you take as close to you at that particular point. But once again, it will follow up with the acknowledgement that these steps are necessary if you want to go where your beliefs and your yearnings are pulling you towards. And the last card here, it is the guidance that is to be the two of pentacles accompanied with the nine of wands. So we do have a, a passive neutrals in this, um, in this position. <clears throat> and, uh, 
what these two cards are advising you guys is to how can I display it? Well, is to expect the unexpected, literally. So it's uh, well, simply they point that nothing is carved in stones, and for that reason, as much as you put into it, the, the just as much you are going to take out of it. So nothing has been decided yet. Your relationship has been this, or the outcome of your uh, a relationship haven't been decided yet. The outcome of your career endeavor haven't been decided yet. And for that reason, uh, you have to uh, do whatever you can in order to place yourself in a comfortable position, in order to place yourself in a position where you can actually matter, where, where you actually do mean something, where you can actually, you know, make a difference was the word that I was searching for. Because uh, guidance-wise, it looks like that there are to be things that are not going to go according to plan, but not in a bad way, just on the contrary, in a very positive way. And you need to have the freedom and the adaptability to be able to pick those pieces that are forming themselves a little bit different than you have expected and fit them into your grand scheme of things. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly tarot reading, October 28th to November 3rd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.